Okay, so I'm kind of going to go over uh, my philosophy paper that I wrote for PE. And it kind of just, the first thing about why I wanted to be a PE teacher, it just kind of comes down to my lifestyle. So I really like to be active and I have a passion for running. Um, and in PE, I kind of get to be active every single day, being in a physical education classroom, kind of running around with kids, playing games. Um, and basically, I really like to kind of help the kid or help a person find their passion. So it doesn't necessarily have to be running. Obviously, not everyone likes to run. That's fine. But I think every kid's got a gift out there. And maybe it's choir, maybe it's basketball, maybe it's um, acting, maybe it's football or whatever. Um, I feel like I could help a kid find their passion and stuff like that really makes me feel feel pretty good. The second one is schedule and flexibility. Um, I realized that though um, a, your job in a career is going to take up a lot of your time, it's not your whole life at the end of the day. A job is something that's going to help pay the bills. And just having the flexibility to kind of do chase my other dreams and passions in life, um, I feel like really fits well with being a PE teacher. Um, summer's off, obviously, you probably need to make a little bit of income, but um, having a summer off kind of gives you the opportunity, heck, maybe I'll go work in, you know, California for a couple months, or maybe I'll go down um, to Texas and do something there. So it kind of gives you the opportunity to travel and do um, what you would like. And when we talk about how I will test kids in PE and w what kind of effort I want to see from them, um, it starts out with kind of using Shape America. So Shape America are like the standards. I think it's super important to use these because I went to Waterloo West where they didn't use these. And these kids were just, you know, they weren't learning anything. They were launching soccer balls all over the place. They weren't using proper form when they were hitting. And why? Well, because they never used the, they never used the standards of Shape America. It was all just, all right, just take a ball and, and go. So, um, yeah, it didn't work. And when you just give a kid a ball and tell them to go have fun, it, they obviously aren't learning anything. Um, now let's talk about testing kids in PE. So, I really think that um, kids should get tested in PE like any other, any other grade or any other subject. And I think this is important because um, kids, I feel like when kids get tested, then they are more, they apply themselves more and they're more willing to learn. So if you think about math, for example, so you go to a math class, imagine if you just told a kid, um, hey, just show up. I'm going to grade you on effort. If you're trying on the problems, you're going to get an A, right? A lot of kids probably wouldn't try because they don't care about math. And that's the same thing about PE. A lot of kids don't try because they don't care about PE. But if we grade PE, like we grade other subjects like math and science, um, kids, I think, will apply themselves. I think this is an unpopular opinion because most people think that PE should just be graded on effort because some kids are gifted with natural ability and some kids aren't. But in my opinion, how is that different than math or science? Some kids will score 34 in the ACT, while some kids will score 17, you know. But the kids that score 17 just have to work a little harder at it. And I think they do in a class like math or science because they're graded. Um, so I think grading, testing PE, like they test other subjects, would be, in my opinion, um, really good leap and bound for the subject. And we're also going to talk about kind of including kids, um, disabled kids. Um, this kind of takes me back to Waterloo. Um, I saw a lot of times just um, someone that was maybe disabled um, just be walking around the gym. And I don't think this is the right way to do it. I think kids need to be included. So whether that means you know, modification or um, and such, I think just having a modification where kids can still do the game and feel included is very important. But overall, I am super excited to be a PE teacher, and it's a career path that really excites me.